Dad, we need to talk about Mom. It's urgent. You need to come home. Oh, what's up? Did you go to the hospital? Are you there right now? How is she doing? Is everything all right? She's gotten worse. She's not eating anymore and lost her appetite. It just feels like she's only getting her nutrients from the IV at this point. I think she and I both know that this might be it. So you should be here. I don't know how much longer she has. I think it's her time to go. Oh, really? I can't believe this. I can't believe it would happen so soon. I'm so sorry that I'm on a business trip during a time like this. I wish I could be there for you and your mom. You are doing work, so it's not your fault. Mom and I both understand. Plus, she just suddenly got worse. She seemed perfectly fine earlier. It's not like we could have expected this. But when do you think you will be back? We both need you back here. Hmm, if I had to guess. I think I will be home by next week at the earliest. I'm sorry. Hopefully she can hold on a little while longer. Okay, I understand. The doctor said we should talk to her as much as possible while she can still talk. It might give her more energy. So when you get home, you have to come visit her immediately before she gets any worse. And talk to her. You haven't really visited her recently, have you? Well, no. By the time work finished, visiting hours were over, so... But what about the days that you have off? You don't work on the weekends, right? You know I have to spend those days entertaining clients. And your mom's hospital bills are expensive. I have to entertain them so we can get money. I didn't want to tell you, but we are barely scraping by every month. I have to do this. I'm sorry. I wish I saw her more often. That might be the case, but... I feel like you could try harder. She doesn't have a lot of time left. You should talk to your work about it. I'm pretty sure they'll let you go see your dying wife. Listen, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's talk about something else, Lily. How's everything with you? I hope you have been job hunting and not just visiting your mom all the time. You've got to think about your future, too. We helped you through college, so try hard to get a job at a nice, respectable company. I've actually already finished job hunting, so visiting mom all the time isn't really detracting from my future. It's fine. Oh, really? That's great. Did you hear back from anywhere? Yeah, I got hired at that company in New York. The company I said I wanted to work for the most. I'm pretty excited. Oh, so you are going to New York? That's so far away. I'll really miss you. I mean, you're the one who is usually not home. So wouldn't you be used to not seeing me all the time? It'll be the same as usual. That's cruel and not true. You know if I could, I would see you and your mother all the time. I'm always thinking of you guys as I work. You guys are very important to me. Once this business trip is over, I'll definitely come by the hospital and see your mom. And I'll stop going on business trips for a while and be by her side 24-7. I really hope you do. She really needs you right now. That's true. I'm sure it was a hassle raising a kid and taking care of the house with me working all the time and not being there for her. I can't thank her enough. She even raised you to be such an amazing young woman. I'm proud of you. You've accomplished so much. I don't know about amazing. That's a bit of an exaggeration. Isn't the company you want to work for listed in the stock exchange? And pretty famous. That is pretty amazing. Thank you. I suppose that's true. It is weird to be complimented by you, though. It might be the first time ever. Wow, you are so rude. <laughs> but I recognize achievements when I see it. And you are a hard-working person. Even now, with everything going on, you are still looking after your mom. I'm glad you are there for her, Lily. 
even though I cannot. Well, you are busy with work. So what could be done? I'm sure you are trying your best. Plus, if I don't go, Mom will be lonely all by herself. I have to visit her. I already know that it's bad of me, so no need to rub it in. I feel guilty enough already. I'm going to try my best to hurry up and finish work and come home. Okay. Well, I'll text you if anything comes up. Got it. Take good care of Mom. I'll see you both soon. What's up? I'm in a meeting right now. I can't pick up. It's about Mom. You need to come here immediately. No. Please don't tell me. She passed away. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It happened so suddenly. I can't believe it. I see. I'm so sorry, too. I'm sorry that I couldn't be there with her in her final moments. To think that even at a time like this, I wasn't with you all and instead I'm at work. I just got here when she took a turn for the worse. So there's no way I could tell you in time for you to make it here. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I shouldn't have been away. I should have requested time off. How did she go? What was she like in her final moments? I think she was able to go without any suffering. She seemed really at peace. Thank God. That's the best case scenario. Again, I'm so sorry about not being there. I should have been there. When I get to the train station, I'll head to the hospital right away. It should take about an hour. I'll see you soon. Okay. See you soon. Lily. Are you doing okay? You must be struggling. Of course I'm not doing okay. She just died. I don't know what to do. She was sick for a long time, so I thought I had prepared enough, but I'm still sad. I can't believe she's really gone. It happened so quickly. It's normal to be sad. Your mom died. But all of Mom's sisters are here, so I guess I'm doing all right. They said they will help with all the funeral preparations, too. So that alleviates some of my stress. At least that takes some pressure off you. Mom said she always wanted a quiet family funeral, right? Yeah, she did. And she said she didn't want a traditional burial, but one of those burials where you are buried under a tree for it to grow. She always thought being in the ground next to other dead people felt so final. This way she can be a part of nature. That's very like her. Yeah, I agree. This way she said we won't have to take care of her once she's gone. Even though it's not hard to take care of a grave. Anyways, Mom loved natural things, so this is perfect for her. It'll be peaceful and beautiful. Let's try to give her what she wanted as much as we can. It's the least we could do. That's what I plan on doing. Even though right now my brain isn't working and thinking of doing all these funeral preparations feels impossible. I bet. You are experiencing trauma. It would be bizarre if you were clear-headed. I still can't believe she's gone. Me neither. Oh, looks like they need me for some funeral things. They're calling for me, so I'll be back. I'll text you later. Can it not wait till I get there? I can take care of it. You've done enough. Lily, you can just stay near your mom if possible. You don't need to do anything else. It's okay. I'm an adult. I'll do as much as I can. I can handle this. All right. I trust you. But don't push yourself too hard. You deserve a break. I'll see you soon. I'll try to get everything done without getting burnt out. Be safe, and I'll see you soon. Where are you at right now? 
I'm at Aunt Danielle's house. I rode with her in the car after the crematorium, and we've been talking about Mom. You need to come home right now. Why? Is something wrong? I have something I want to talk about now. Get home now. I'm not coming home yet, so you might as well just say it over text. There's no way it is an emergency. You know when I was crying at the wake, right? Yes. Although that was pretty much the whole time. Do you remember what you said when you were next to me? Not really. I don't remember. Didn't you say, I'm glad she's finally gone? What the hell did you mean by that? Oh, that. Seriously? Now? What does it matter? If you were that mad about it, why didn't you say something then? I was waiting for after the cremation to not cause a scene. I wanted to do a good send-off for your mom. It's what she deserves. She doesn't deserve drama. But why would you say such a horrible thing? What did she ever do to you? She gave you everything, and she was the best mother she could be to you. It has nothing to do with you, so you should just drop it. It's really none of your business. Stop messing around. You need to apologize to your mom. She doesn't even exist anymore. How would I even do that? Look up at the sky and say I'm sorry? You're being so disrespectful. Apologize to her body. To your mom. What are you even saying? She just got cremated. She has no body to apologize to. How can I possibly calm down? Why you would say such an awful thing is beyond me. I don't want a relationship with a daughter who is happy her mom died. I feel the exact same way. So calm down. Excuse me. Does your relationship with your mother mean nothing to you? Yeah. Isn't that okay? I mean, you are also feeling the same way. So let's just cut things off and go our separate ways. Why are you trying to destroy your relationship with your family? What's going on? Do I need any other reason besides that I don't like you? <laughs> Unbelievable. Don't ever come home again. I can't believe you would talk to me like this. Well, I have no intention of going anywhere you are. That was never home to me and never will be. But I do need to stop by and pick up my things. So you might want to be gone while I do that. I never knew you were such a disrespectful child. I can't believe this. I thought you were kind because you were so diligently taking care of your mom. I hope you weren't just pretending to care in order to get your inheritance. And I hope you weren't just trying to get more than me. Don't tell me that's really what's going on. That better not be the case. Seriously. Who cares? So what if it's true? I can't believe this. I can't believe I raised a daughter like this. I'm not giving you a penny of inheritance. Even if you try to do that, I'm pretty sure that it's my right to receive my inheritance. So good luck with that. Well, you can disregard your inheritance. You're never going to get it. Your mother would be rolling in her grave if she could hear what a selfish person you've become. That's not true. I don't care about the inheritance. I love your mother. You have no idea how I feel, especially at her funeral and seeing her for the last time before they took her away. I'm in pain. How could you possibly understand when you didn't even shed a single tear? You think just because I didn't cry that I wasn't sad? You're an idiot. There's no way that someone could lose their mother and just be standing there normally like that. That's just your way of thinking. It has no basis in reality. You have no idea how I truly feel. I mean, isn't this the case? What kind of daughter doesn't cry at her mother's funeral? Even now, there isn't even a tinge of sadness that you are missing your mom. And I don't think that it's just because you are after your inheritance. It's gotta be something else. Just because you don't think so... It's really not your business, and it doesn't matter. 
Your mom is crying in heaven. Really? Or is she actually looking down at us and laughing? How much are you going to mess around? Is this just a game to you? Hurry up and get your stuff out of the house. I don't want to see you again. I can't stand to be reminded of you. Fine, but there's something I want you to promise me. That you won't speak to me ever again. I'm telling you that that is the plan. It sounds good to me. Okay, fine. Well, if you're going to promise me that, then I don't need the inheritance. I don't care about money. I don't want to see your face ever again. Next time, even if something comes up, I won't be there to help you or to see you. Don't ever call me. You too. If something comes up, don't contact me either. I want nothing to do with you. Raising you is a waste of time. I can't believe this. I never thought you were nice, but I didn't think you'd be this terrible of a person. From now on, live however you want to, but by yourself. Don't contact me again. Hey, can you stop calling Aunt Danielle's house over and over? It's annoying and becoming a real nuisance for her. I thought we agreed to go no contact. You are the one who blocked me. How else am I supposed to reach you? Okay, fine. But I'm listening to you now. What do you want? What's up? Where are you right now? Because you aren't at your aunt's house. Didn't we cut things off? What does it matter where I am? It's not your business. What do you want? You knew about the inheritance, didn't you? I thought I finally found the bank book, but there was nothing in it. Your mom received an inheritance from her parents, but there's nothing left but 7k. And with the cost of the funeral, there's even less. And? What about it? How is this my problem? I can see that she was making deposits to you every year. Yeah, she gave them to me as a parting gift. Why didn't you tell me? So you took most of the inheritance. No wonder you were so willing to say you'd give it up. Not to mention that the life insurance was randomly cancelled. Everything is gone. Why didn't you leave anything for me? Why did you take everything? I have nothing. Well... That's how much Mom didn't want to leave you anything. It's what she wanted. What? What are you talking about? She knew that you had been cheating on her for a long time. Every day you'd go to that lady's house and ignore us, pretending not to have a family. I have no idea what you are talking about. I have proof. Though at this point, there is nothing that can be done about it. It's old news. There's no point in denying it. Actually, when she got sick, she really just wanted to get divorced from you. She never said anything to me. I never heard anything about this. I can't believe this. That's because you completely changed before she could say something. You were basically a different person. Once she got sick, she figured there was no longer a point in being with you and she was preparing to divorce you. But when they discovered her illness and her parents passed away, you became really happy the second she received her inheritance. I have been worried about your mom's health since the beginning. I care about her. You moved from never coming home to coming home multiple times a week, right? She realized that you were so nice because you were after her inheritance. She was surprised you were so suddenly concerned about her illness. If she really felt that way, why didn't she just divorce me? Why be married to someone like that? Probably because the timing wasn't right. What? I was still in high school and taking after-school classes. And Mom was in and out of the hospital. You were probably going to be reluctant if she tried to bring it up at a time like that. Once the divorce moved to mediation, it would take like six months. And with Mom being so sick, she probably couldn't attend many meetings. Even so, she has the inheritance. She could afford the fees to get divorced. I mean, you were after her inheritance, right? And if she divorced you, you would be able to get some of it. 
but instead this way you would be frustrated by the fact that it is always out of reach, including at the very end. You would never get a penny. You're saying that the reason she didn't divorce me is so that I could suffer. I wouldn't say that's the only reason. You've been indifferent to us for a long time. If we just continued to live as we were, with you still paying for our living expenses, then Mom and I could do whatever we wanted. So it worked out. So you guys were taking advantage of me. Are you serious? So we stayed as a family just for the money. You used me for money. How dare you? What are you even trying to say? You are the one who threw away the family and went after her inheritance first. You should be ashamed of yourself. Though you came home way more than before, I can still count on one hand how many times you visited. You are pathetic. You never cared about us. Seriously. I was busy with work. You know this. Even before she died, when she was in bad condition, didn't you still go on vacation with your mistress? Doesn't really sound like a caring husband. I know everything. But how? Even this last time when you visited her in the hospital, all you did was bring flowers and leave within five minutes. She may have been absent-minded in her last days, but she was still conscious. She knew what kind of person you are. I just didn't want to be a burden to your mother. I wanted her to save her energy. Anyways, I'm going to need you to leave the house soon. Let me rephrase that. I need you to leave my house soon. What? How do you figure that house is yours? First of all, it was never yours to begin with, so don't act surprised. Grandpa bought that house, not you. Mom's name is on the title to the house. Before she passed, she transferred it to me. I'm going to sell it like she said she wanted in her will. So I'm going to need you to leave within a month. Find a new place to live. I can't believe this. Lily, are you really going to throw away your own father like this? You are really not going to give me a penny. Father? I thought we decided to cut ties, right? I don't have a father anymore. Even so, you still have an obligation to respect me. I've been paying your living expenses this whole time. Children are not raised by just handing over money. I only am who I am today because mom raised me. Also, paying living expenses is like the minimum requirement of a parent. I have no obligation to you. The thing is, I'm really struggling right now. Lily, please. If you have even a little bit of sympathy, I just need a little bit of money. I know all about that, too. Your debt. You and your mistress were splurging because you figured mom would be dead soon enough that you'd get the inheritance. I know when you were working, you were just traveling around and wasting money with her half the time. But to do it to the point of going into debt? That's pretty crazy. How much fun were you guys having while thinking of mom dying? Disgusting. If you know about the debt and that I'm struggling, then letting me borrow just a little bit should be okay. I mean, weren't you the one who said thank God she's finally gone? You are misunderstanding what I meant when I said that. I was saying, thank God that she is finally at peace after suffering so much. Now she won't suffer while being sick anymore. Mom fought hard. Even till the end, she never gave up. She deserved to finally have some peace. So, that's what you meant. You are a bad person. That's why you thought I wanted her dead. It's your guilty conscience. Lily, but seriously, about the money. Seriously, just a couple thousand will be enough. And then I'll stop bothering you. I promise I won't contact you again. Yeah, there's no way that I'm lending you money. I'm not giving you a cent. You are pathetic, begging for money. That was her will, and this is how I will repay her for everything she's done for me. After that, I guess Dad really did not want to give up on the inheritance. 
He tried to argue that he had a right to the money that my mom gave me as a gift while she was still alive. Of course, normally, the money I received from her would have become part of her inheritance, which Dad does have a right to. But Mom thought of that and wrote a declaration of intent to exempt my gift from being taken back. To put it simply, it made it so that my dad wouldn't see a penny of the gift as well. So he truly received nothing from my mom. My dad was out of luck and was left empty-handed. He had no choice but to start working towards paying back the debt he owed. And now, I'm far away from home in New York, so there's no way he'd come all the way here. I think I'm safe. Even the company I told my dad about was a lie. Without using a private detective, there's no way he'd know where I am. And if he did manage to find me, I'd file a police report so that he would never be able to see me again. After everything was settled, I finally went to report everything to my mom in her resting spot. And for the first time, I cried so much I couldn't stop. I think I was just finally able to comprehend that she was gone and that I wouldn't see her again. Before she died, she told me that she'd had a happy life because I was there for her and she was grateful. Before she got sick and she was still full of energy, we would go out together and do all kinds of fun things. And when she started to get sick, whatever she wanted, my aunts would work together to make it happen. Even then, there was so much more I wish I could have done for her. There is no way I could repay her for everything she's done for me. Now I really can't do anything. But at the very least, I hope that in heaven, she's able to live freely and at peace. And so she doesn't worry about me. I want to try my best to live a good life. I want to be kind and a fighter like my mom who raised me and fought her illness till the end. I know that she loved me and with that feeling, I think that no matter what, I'll always be okay. <laughs>